Tinkerbell is actually way better at wooing on command than Miko is. Miko, as you can see, gets very overly excited. And squirrel. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. If you have not been here before, this is Tinkerbell. Tinkerbells have a pink nose and this is Miko. Miko has a little black one. Um, Miko is two and Tinkerbell is six. But today, the reason why these girls are up front and center is that we are going to do one of the most requested videos on this channel all over our Instagram and the comments down here as well and that is how I taught my girls to talk. So essentially speaking in general dog terms when I'm not eating dog fur is barking on command but because mine are Samoyeds and Samoyeds love to howl I have taught my girls how to howl instead because it's a little bit more musical than just the normal barking. Can you girls say awoo? Can you say awoo? Good girl. Now I will start off by saying that I am in no way shape or form a professional dog trainer etc. This is just the techniques that I use. What are you girls doing? So these are just the techniques that I used. So they have been wonderfully successful for me, but I haven't tried them on different types of dogs and things like that. So see if it works for you. Generally speaking, all of my training with all of my dogs is very reward and positivity based. So they get lots of snuggles, they get lots of treats, things like that. And when it comes to treats, my favorite for training, you guys have seen my videos before, you've seen my the I Am Loving You brand actually sponsors us. It's not paid, we just get all of their fun food and stuff. And these are their nice jerky venison and lamb bites. Let's see if we'll focus on that. Focus, 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 maybe not. And so the reason that I like these so much is that they come in little bits, but they are really easy to break up. So when you are treat-based training, you don't want to give your dog a ton of treats just because, you know, <laughs> excuse me, um, you don't want them to get overweight and all of that fun stuff. So just little itty bitty bits. But I think the rest of this video is going to be a little vlog based because it's going to be super hard to kind of film and do all of that while I am showing you guys how they woo. So starting off with the absolute basics, you know that my dogs already know how, but when you are starting off with either a brand new puppy or a dog who has never been taught to speak on command before, you want to start out with praising every little noise they make. So sometimes they're not going to make a full woo, they're not going to make a full bark, whatever you're going for, and that's totally fine. You just want to start to reward the dog when they make a noise when you ask them too. So let's try this out. Oh, there's a giant piece in here. So once again, this is so nice because you can break it up into little itty bitty bits. So starting off, can you say a woo? Say a woo. Say a woo. Um. Good girl. So that's not a full woo, but it's that little noise that you want to start with. And so Tinkerbell is actually way better at wooing on command than Miko is. Miko, as you can see, gets very overly excited. And squirrel. <laughs> this is what happens when you are filming a video with the door wide open. Girls, what'd you find? Miko. Miko, you can't get the squirrel. She wants the squirrel <laughs> so bad. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Come on, leave it. Let's go. All right, girls, go back inside. Come on. We have to go finish a video. Let's go. Hi, duckies. Good girl, get up there. Up. You sit. Good girl. Up. Come on. Meeks, get up there. Get up. Come on. 
Go girls. And sit. Sit down. <laughs> you can't have any of those. So we are gonna try filming this way instead. So I'm talking behind the camera and we are starting out by having the girls sit. Sit down, good girls. And can you say, <laughs> see? So first little noise, they get a little bitty bit of a treat. And that is step one. And once they can do that on command, Miko. So once they start making little itty bitty noise on command, that is step one and you move to step two. Step two, generally speaking, is barking. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of barking, so you can, if you want your dog to bark on command, you can absolutely do that, but then after you can get them to bark on command, which is coming through that exact same process, then you move on to what I call wooing. So my cue for wooing is to say, a woo. Yes, just like that. So saying a woo, they tend to copy me go, Say a woo. <laughs> Say a woo. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Say a woo. <laughs> woo woo. Nico, say a woo. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, so little itty bitty bits. And essentially, all you have to do is work at it. More and more you do this, the more they'll realize that, yay, I get treats when it happens. And eventually, <laughs> you won't need treats anymore. Or if you raise your hand over your head like I do, which is generally speaking what's going on, they will woo on their own. And when it comes to Samoyeds, everyone has their own wooing. Miko, as you can tell, her woo is a little deeper and then Tinkerbell's is a little louder and a little bit more musical. Every dog's gonna sound totally different and that's completely okay. And then one of your favorite things about when these dogs are starting to talk is that I can ask them to say other things like good morning. So when I video them saying good morning each morning, Essentially, what I'm doing is that same woo, except for I say it in good morning. So it's the same musicality in your voice that helps. Good morning. Good girl, Tinkerbell. Miko, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That wasn't a good morning. Say good job. The girls are getting a little bit overexcited because they've gotten so many treats right now. So they are more making noise than wooing at the current moment just because when you give them so many treats, they're going to get really hyped up about it. And instead of looking for the trick, they're looking for the treat. And so that was just a super quick video on how I teach my dogs how to speak or woo on command. Super quick overview. First, you want to make sure that they get lots and lots of praise and a little bitty treats. Small treats are better. Second, start in stages. So stage one is just making a noise, rewarding for noise. Once you have figured that out perfectly, you're going to move on to barking. Barking is a step that you can skip if you want to when it comes to making a lot of noise if you don't want your dogs to bark that is totally fine and you can move on to step three and step three is wooing and the main point about step three wooing is it's that exact same nice fun praise and treats that you get with step one making a noise except for you make your voice a little extra musical so either with the a woo or good morning that same little cadence what goes on and then Last but not least, your dogs are going to be crazy sometimes. As you can see, they were flying out to get squirrels. They get a little overexcited when they get a bunch of treats. And that's, for me, totally okay. The girls are dogs. They are young, fun, ridiculous animals. And I don't really treat mine like show ponies. So if they want to do a trick, they do it. I would never force them to do a trick. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to see more of you. 
both for hippie habits and these cute little fluffs. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you again soon. Girls, can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Good job. Say oh woo. Good girl.